welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are doing well today. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or in any of the other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. If you are returning, hey, so family, what's going on? I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you are loving on yourself and having a beautiful day thus far. Let's go ahead and get this breathing in, y'all. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. spirit angels ancestors of the highest white light spirit guides divine beings of the highest white light please come in and connect with me now please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know let there be none of me and all of you please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth Archangel Michael, please be present here. Please protect our energy and close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. And please encamp the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Please and thank you. Ashe. All right. So I heard, follow me. And all of a sudden I heard chains, okay? I feel like someone is forcing or trying to force someone to follow them but this person is chained or bound but there's something about the way that this person said follow me it's like a very aggressive and dominant energy hmm, I don't know y'all I was guided to the positive thinking book so there's something here so that that download I feel like someone's being guided to see with your spiritual eyes the ways in which you may be bound to someone It's like someone is trying to control you, make you do what they want you to do. And you're, you don't realize that you are bound. I don't know. This is a doozy. I'm just seeing somebody with chains around their ankles. What is this Holy Spirit? make mistakes you are human you will make mistakes hopefully you will make a whole lot of them because that means you are trying and trying means you are fully alive it also makes life a hell of a lot more interesting this coupled with this chain energy it's almost like someone has unknowingly bound themselves to something or someone. Tied yourself to a situation. But the divine is wanting you to know that you are meant to learn something from this situation and that you are able to break free from this situation. I feel like the chains being represented is, is figurative and energetic. It's like the dominance in this person's voice makes you feel like you're in literal chains, like you are 
being made to do something. So someone may have blindly followed a person because of fear is what I'm hearing. Because of that dominance. Let's get into it and see what's going on. <sighs> Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Okay? This could be your energy or this could be someone in your energy. Someone could feel stupid for making a mistake. Like the book said, following someone that you thought had good intentions following someone because you felt fearful it doesn't have to be following someone but this one wanted to fall out bridge successfully overcoming a problem okay so I feel like there is this is significant you're about to escape okay Somebody's trying to hold on to somebody or something is trying to hold on to someone. And I do feel like there is some type of energetic manipulation. But I feel like you have the ability to escape whatever this is. You have the ability to move away from it. You just don't realize you do. What else? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have Jug. Lighthearted, carefree times, okay? So with this in the bridge, I feel like the divine is about to give you an out. Something that's gonna make you very happy. Okay, something that's going to put you in a lighthearted energy because the initial energy was a bit intense. Mice, discord among friends and family. Okay, so this could be friends and family related. This was on the side, but they're guiding me to keep it in the upright. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay. They're guiding me to place this next to bridge because somebody is about to have some type of energetic breakthrough. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. The wheel. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. This is the energy. This is somebody that feels obligated tied to something and we have table hard work ahead so let's do this because this is where the energy is shifting Now they're showing me footprints in the sand. Someone may have wanted you to follow their footsteps, their path, okay, with path showing up here, money path. Someone may have wanted you to do what they did to keep you from doing what you were destined to do with the wheel here. But there's some type of I can't say that it's spell work, but there's something that almost made you blind blindly follow whoever this is. Yeah, family.
What's Mice, Holy Spirit, Discord Among Family, Page of Swords? With the Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Someone you are connected to. This could be past, present, or future energy. My disclaimer, all of my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Uh, please do seek professionals in the areas of mental health, physical health, marriage and family therapy, law, and finances. I am not a professional in those areas. Also, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Someone you are or were connected to has seen you get started on a path, okay, of your own. Start it small, something you are doing, learning about, wanting to venture out in. Someone in your family, friends, has observed what you are doing and wants you to come off of that path and follow what they want you to do. And this card says discord among family and friends. Whatever you were doing is creating some type of discord. So the chains represent them wanting to bind you to their way of thinking what they want you to do. Okay. But there's some type of illusion associated with this. And there's a king of swords energy here. This is a, a very dominant energy. The energy I was picking up on, like almost like dictator energy. So someone has observed something you're doing. Yeah, five of swords. This is like competition energy. This is conflict. This is discord like we see on the mice card, okay? Someone has also noticed that you are researching and studying something, becoming very wise in some type of area. And this is causing a frenzy for you and your family or your friends. What is the wheel? Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. This is what they want. They want you to allow your life to ramble aimlessly the justice okay I feel like you are getting downloads from the divine about this situation I can't make it up split the deck right on ju uh, judgment and justice the divine is stepping in to try to guide you to make changes and guide you where you need to be what's the justice something's on the justice Three of Swords in the reverse, okay, yes. So whoever this is in your energy that is trying to keep you bound to some type of situation that's going to hurt you or really throw your path off, hold you back, Four of Pentacles, the Divine is stepping in to make you aware, possibly through this message, that Whatever this dominant energy is that's saying follow me and trying to force you to follow what they're doing or instructing you to do, this person is being moved out. This is a devil energy, whoever this is. What's the three of swords in reverse? Someone wanted you to mirror their them. Someone wants you to be small. Okay, they don't want, we just saw this card. They don't want you growing beyond where they have reached. They don't want you to be as good as they believe they are. Okay, so they definitely don't want you to surpass them in any type of way. Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. This is what you are destined for. They don't ever want to see this for you. They never want to see you eating from that type of table where you have 
Uh, this is looking like a royal. This table is giving me royalty energy, okay? Hard work ahead. They don't want you putting in the work. And they see you in this page of swords, page of pentacles, energy starting something. So I feel like there's some type of... I don't know what this is, but there's a force, a surge of energy of suppression. It's like get back in there, I'm hearing, okay? Two of Wands, this person sees you planning to venture out and to create something powerful. The world is in your hands. And this is also giving me meeting this table here is also giving me someone's calling a meeting what is this energy what is this meeting energy yeah this dominant energy okay this usually represents spirit guides the 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 most high the divine in this sense this is this devil dominant energy that i'm picking up on off the hierophant this person wants to dictate dominate demand instruct force something so this person is calling a meeting at the table here okay multiple people okay your angels are with you are going to be with you You could have already had this discussion. Someone's gotten wind about what you're doing. What is the Hierophant, Holy Spirit? Yeah, about you moving forward away from what they've instructed you that you need to be doing, okay? What's the chariot? Yeah, someone, this dominant energy has gotten wind that you want to go into your calling, whatever this is, with the chariot and the judgment, okay? There's some type of trap being set here. There's some type of trap being set here. What am I picking up on with this trap energy, Holy Spirit? What is this? The sun in reverse. They're trying to hide something from you. Concerning this work opportunity. What's the sun in reverse? Knight of Wands. Yeah, this group of people, this dominant energy and whoever else is there looks like three people on the Hierophant card as well as this Three of Pentacles. These people are hiding their true intentions. Arrow, this is giving me target energy. This is giving me bullseye energy. What's the Knight of Want? Yeah, there we are, the Magician. There's some type of manipulation going on here with these people, in this meeting. I feel as though you're being guided not to attend this meeting. Let me clarify. Holy Spirit, is the collective being guided away from this meeting? Yeah, look at this. They're making it seem like it's gonna be a Nine of Cups but it's really a seven of swords, okay? There's a lot of deception going on. They're gonna try to lay it on thick, sun in the reverse. You can't really see what they're up to, what their actions, this passion is about, but they are trying to set you up. Hold on, y'all. Let me get another deck. I need to clarify, follow me, because I, this follow me energy is not sitting well with me. I picked it up on King of Swords in the reverse. 
okay that dominant very aggressive energy and again the king of sword wanted to flip over okay so this is the follow me energy but let me see what they're up to look at this eight of wands sending some type of projections eight of swords look at there we have it eight of swords for you to be in your head three of pentacles this is this group we just saw three of pentacles ace of wands in the reverse so that you don't go on this new that's the follow me energy thank you holy spirit so this dominant energy is sending you some type of spell work to keep you in your head and keep you confused seven of cups so that you don't create whatever you're meant to create this I feel is like I feel like this meeting at this table energy. This is dark. This was ill intention to do something physical. What am I picking up on with this physical energy? Look, I can't make it up. The devil. They have intention seven of swords to do something to somebody. What is this devil energy over here with concerning this meeting, Holy Spirit? Bind. I'm hearing bind. These people could have had intention to, to physically bind somebody with chains, okay? The moon, again, hidden. Sun in the reverse, hidden. Okay? Oh, boy. What is this energy, Holy Spirit? Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So they're trying to lure you by telling you it's some type of Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, new opportunity that's better for you. I heard presentation. So they may be trying to present, making you think they're trying to present something to you at this meeting. What is really going on with the meeting, Holy Spirit? What is the true nature of this meeting? What is the true nature of this meeting, Holy Spirit? Two of Swords. To bind and block you. Okay? Bind and block you. Three of Cups. Again, three people. This is giving coven energy. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and there's three people on this Hierophant card as well. What's the Two of Swords? The Ten of Cups. This is family. What's the Two of Swords and the Ten of Cups, Holy Spirit? Seven of Wands. You're being guided to protect yourself from these people. Be on guard when it comes to these people. If you haven't received some type of invitation to talk or present some type of option for you, this is if this is if you are already in the energy of not trusting someone or feeling eerie about a situation, four of cups energy, feeling a little odd or weird, okay? This is not something that's coming up out of the blue. These messages are for confirmation of what you already know about your situation, okay? I don't like this energy at all. Eight of Wands again. Eight of Cups. Yeah. You're being guided to walk away or not to attend. This meeting energy is really heavy. These people have dark intentions to keep you stuck. Two of Swords to the Hangman. Okay? They do not want you to get away. Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Okay, let's get back to this part of it to see what else is going on here. What's the error, Holy Spirit? You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're on the you're on the road to coming into your Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're wanting you to be patient with yourself. Temperance Angel, High Priestess Energy. You have knowledge about what 
the divine is guiding you towards. That's why you are in this page of source energy, starting to gain more knowledge about whatever this is. Okay, you're in this healing energy with the temperance. You're on the right path. Okay, slow and steady, Knight of Pentacles energy. I believe we just saw Knight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, com confirmation, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. What's the bridge successfully overcoming a problem? Yeah, coming out of the Two of Swords. We have the Two of Swords here. Whatever this is, they're trying to block you with, okay? So it's like making a decision to maybe disconnect from these people from your past or make these people people of your past by disconnecting from them. What else for the bridge? too many A ton of cards flipped over what else for the bridge holy spirit the hanged man i heard open your eyes open your eyes stay once you to recognize this plot okay because somehow energetically you were following this person when they instructed you to follow them is this spell work is this follow me energy spell work we did see the magician is this spell work yeah okay so this is like guiding someone and I'm asking about spell work, and I believe that it's a yes. Six of Swords to the Six of Pentacles on the, I'm sorry, Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I feel like, is this in the dream state, Holy Spirit? Is this in the dream state? This is both in the dream state as well as them physically trying to guide you in the direction that they want you to go in. But there's a reason why you are entertaining this. Why was the collective entertaining this or why will they? Some type of dark manipulation. Some type of spell work. The moon. Okay, what's money path, Holy Spirit? This is read is all over the place. Empress on the side. Okay, this is waiting for you. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Okay, with Empress on the side, I feel like there may be some more healing work that needs to be done there may need to be a full disconnection from these people there's something that the divine is waiting for you to do before you can get fully on this money path okay there's a tower that's coming in that's going to create some type of shift and change confirmation what is the contingency holy spirit for this money path emperor okay thank you holy spirit so we got the emperor and the empress okay one situation is balancing out your masculine and feminine energy stepping into this boss energy and not in this follower energy coming out of that spell work eight of swords coming out of this energy so that's cleansing your energy uh, setting your boundaries protecting your energy um, there's going to be a shift in the mindset that's going to put you in this taking you from the page of pentacles page of swords energy to the emperor energy 
okay? You're going to be able to fully step in this. What's the emperor? There's something else here. What's the emperor? Also, you may also join with a partner, a divine partner. We have the emperor and the empress on top of the money path. So you may be creating something new, a new empire with your divine counterpart. What's the, yeah, the magician, when you step fully into your power and who you are, that is when all of this is going to take place. I feel like when you step into this emperor or empress energy, that is when you're going to meet your counterpart and that's when you're going to fully step into your power and end anything that's not aligned with that. There is a heavy energy still over here that I cannot... I don't know who is this person who is this king of swords queen of swords energy hierophant energy to the collective who is this person okay this is a dark high priest or high priestess high priestess in the reverse queen of pentacles energy somebody that's a a taker i'm hearing somebody that's a cheater somebody that likes to cut take shortcuts to get money off the backs of other people this person does not have anything of their own they don't have any creative bones in their body okay and i don't mean to be that way but this person here this energy is just disgusting i feel like this person had every intention of working this person like a dog to produce pinnacles and whatever little bit they get they were meant to run it back to this person. This person wanted to bind them indefinitely. Servitude for life, okay? I feel like this might be a parent. Is this a parent? This could be a parent. Is this a parent of someone in the collective Holy Spirit? Strength in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like this could be a parent. This could be somebody that you feel an obligation or you, or someone in the collective feels an obligation to assist, okay? Somebody you feel weak in comparison to. But this person's energy, I said, is a very dominant energy that tries to overpower and make you feel less than. But this person really, yeah, this is this type of energy. Very controlling, very dominant. But this person has nothing of their own. Everything that Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Everything that they get is by manipulating someone else to, or stealing, okay? I'm literally hearing stealing from someone else. This person is pathetic. So, I feel like you, this person had their heart and mind and spirit, every part of them set on you being a lifelong supply for whatever they need, basically. You are gonna be a runner for the rest of your life, okay? Rest of your life, okay? What else for this table energy? What else do we need to know about this person? Yep, family. This person, all they think about is dominating people and taking their money. Domination and taking the money. That's who this person is. Follow me. What else for follow me, Holy Spirit? This person is weird. What else for follow me? They say clarify the magician. What's the magician? Okay. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Very impulsive and erratic. This is clarifying the magician. Manipulative and then confirmation. Queen of Pentacles again that we just saw in the other deck. Wants to win, but wants the recognition as though they've actually done something. When they haven't done anything. Dark High Priest is doing magic under the moon to manipulate people. Pathetic. Weak. 
this person is weak. This person has no real gifts. They have to use demonic entities to manipulate. And what's going to be the outcome of that? Because it's all going back to this person. What is the outcome for this Dark High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles energy? Ten of Swords to the strength in reverse, okay? All of that dominance is going down the drain. All of these swords that this person has tried to send out to everyone else is coming back to them tenfold. Ten of Swords. This person is going to be exposed with the sun in the upright. Yep, for all the magic they've been doing, Magician, right behind that. By God, okay? The real Hierophant. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's the outcome for our loved one here? We have Ace of Cups. Abundance. Five of Wands. Why am I seeing the Five of Wands? Ten of Wands. The abundance that's coming in for you, Ace of Cups, is going to help you escape this Five of Wands, Ten of Wands energy. The Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands is the Six of Wands. Five and One. Six of Wands. This is recognition, victory, success for you. You're going to escape. You've been through hell, okay, with this Five of Wands, with this person. I feel like this is apparent. I really do. But it could just take it as it resonates for you. This is somebody that has really played with somebody's mind throughout their entire life. King of Wands again. What's the Ten of Wands? I feel really sad all of a sudden. Yeah, Page of Swords. This is you up here, Page of Swords, trying to learn, trying to grow. All the while, you have a greedy King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Taking everything you get, okay? Working against you every step of the way, everything you learn. I'm seeing somebody coming in excited about something they've learned, and this person just shoots it down and has their hand out. See how this person has their hand out? This person just is a succubus. Again, Ten of Pentacles, money, 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 family. Anything else we need to know about this situation? It's over for this person. Tower on the bottom of the deck. Anything else? The High Priestess. This is your energy. Follow your intuition. You're being guided to follow your intuition. There's also a mentor coming in for you. A queen of wands energy a very powerful energy but you're going to be guided to use your intuition because i feel like whoever you are this person that you dealt with is going to have you if they don't already in a very paranoid energy okay very skeptical about people and as you should just screen everybody okay use your intuition to see what people's true intentions are but there is someone that's coming in, yeah, with an offer an offer for you, Knight of Cups. This person is going to help you in some capacity move forward. What's the Knight of Cups, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person is coming in, Chariot, to help you 
Ace of Swords, okay? To give you some clarity and truth and help you really significantly put an end to this situation, this connection. I heard help you to heal this situation, okay? So this may be somebody that has been through a similar situation. What else for the chariot? Yeah, this is going to be a mentor, like a mother figure with the mother star here. That's going to help guide you. And this is giving me a confirmation of the fact that I think that this was someone's parent that was doing this to them. So this may be somewhat of a, a parental figure in the upright that's going to help guide you in the manner you need it okay, and help you end this cycle help you to heal four of swords that's beautiful all right let's get a mindful message this read was kind of all over the place okay confirmation with coming my way this person is definitely coming in to help you this person is plotting right now What is this person doing? What is this person doing, Holy Spirit? This Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords in the reverse, plotting on getting you in your head some type of way and holding you back. This person is unbelievable. Ten of Wands, keeping you burdened and so they can continue to take from you. We already see that this person is going to have this Ten of Swords hitting them back. What else for this person, Holy Spirit? Page of Cups in the reverse. This person is emotionally unstable, very childish, okay? With this home here, this is giving me family home. This person may try to come to your home or may want to talk to you or ask you to come to their home. Aside from this meeting energy that we had there, but you're being guided to walk away from this person. Okay, again, my disclaimer, I'm not a marriage and family therapist, so please do seek professionals in those areas if this is resonating with you and you need assistance, okay? But this person is a dark witch, basically. Okay, spell work. Magician in this Eight of Pentacles, okay? This person is doing the most. Anything else on this magician? This magician is surging. Six of Cups. This person is... This person is going to guilt trip you. This is what I'm feeling with this Page of Cups energy. About the way things used to be. What they did for you at, as you grew up. All of this nonsense, okay? So that you could offer them the abundance that you are destined to have this person is cannot be trusted close out this cycle you're being guided to close it out what's the advice holy spirit for our loved one Projecting can't make it up. Rather than reacting and projecting my emotions onto others, I remember no one is to blame. No one is responsible for the emotions that I feel. When someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me, I have the choice in how I respond. This is all about protecting your energy because this person is definitely, I just said this person is going to try to guilt trip you, start sending you uh spell work to make you think about the past and how you're indebted to them that type of energy so that they could suck you dry for the rest of whatever you have left okay so this is about deciphering emotions this is about high priestess energy using your intuition this is about setting strong boundaries um 
because this person, this person is not going to stop. I feel, unfortunately, I feel like this person is not going to stop until there is a literal ending for this person. And I feel like that, and I'm not projecting that out, but I feel like with the Ten of Swords here and the strength in the reverse, even at this person's weakest point, I feel like they're going to keep doing spell work until they can't do anything anymore. I really do. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully this person will wake up, but I don't see that happening. <sighs> the scales are going to be balanced. Okay. And I knew it. I spit it on hold lightly again. This card came out the other day. It says, I take the things and people that come into my life lightly, not holding on too tight so that when it comes time for them to go, they may go smoothly. This does not mean that I love any less or not value, but that I am open to the changes of life. So this is the divine telling you to protect your energy and understand that this situation is coming to an end. Whoever I'm picking up on, I can see that it's coming to an end because this person is not going to stop. Okay, they're going to keep trying to make you follow them until they can no longer speak or do anything. Okay, let's get one more. Creator of happiness. I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source, absolutely, or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me. Okay? I think this person made you feel like they were the creator of your happiness. Like they gave you all these opportunities. They did all these things for you to make you happy. You wouldn't be happy without them. That type of energy. The divine is telling you, reminding you that happiness is within you. You are the creator of your happiness. You are the creator of your reality. I love you, family. I really hope this message helped you. I'm sorry this message was kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like that sometimes. This is when, when this big head fool is out here, okay? So protect your energy, cleanse your energy. If you feel inclined to use a meditation from the Lightworks goodie bag, feel free. I'm not responsible for how it works for you, but they are really good meditations that I do trust to cleanse your energy and to ground yourself. If you uh, would like to donate to the channel, it's always greatly appreciated. My information is in the description box for donations as well as if you would like to book a personal reading. I'm going to cleanse this energy out because this person here is a whole doozy and a half. Thank you, Holy Spirit and Holy Angels for the messages. Okay. I really hope that this message helped you. Fear not. It's going to be okay. You are going to be able to get through this. I do feel the energy of a little sadness, but you look at what's on the bottom. Speak, Holy Spirit. Four of Swords, okay? Connect with your guides through meditation, through prayer. Uh, call upon Archangel Raphael to help you with the healing and working on your heart chakra. And you're going to be okay. Most high God, Divine Holy Spirit, thank you for the messages, Divine Angels, Divine Ancestors. Archangel Michael, please clear the energy in this space. Remove any negative energy, anything lingering around in here that is not of a high vibration. Please destroy it, transmute it into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Please cleanse and clear the space for the collective to remove any negative energies. And so it is. I shake.
Until next time, family.